Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Coming in solution. Get out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todd Herbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon to miss any of my most awesome videos. In front of us, we have a JCPenney AM FM portable radio. This was probably made in the early 1980s, and I found it at a thrift store for around five bucks. I normally wouldn't grab it, but it's a portable radio, and the rest is history. <laughs> So let's go ahead and do some uh, dimensions, and then we'll talk about this radio. So dimensions, we have eight and three quarters across, eight and a half inches tall with the handle. There's a handle on here, seven inches without the handle. And we have a case depth of four inches, including the knobs in front. So it's quite a thick radio. Yeah, when I first saw this, I was like, hmm, will it work? <laughs> you can plug it in at the thrift store and check but depending on their lighting, you'll get buzzing on the AM band. So you're not sure. This switch was really bad. It was like crunchy when I was moving it around. But uh, yeah, it took it apart. It wasn't really interesting on the inside. Uh, again, no maker's mark anywhere on this radio, so I have no idea who made this. Uh, so yeah, it's one of those like mystery radios. But it works really well. I'm pretty surprised. So let's uh, go ahead and do a little size comparison. A little CC Pocket here. Give you an idea. That's right where the speaker's at. <laughs> Now let's see, we got the CC Skywave, which we can use for frequency checking. We'll do a little medium wave band scan tonight with this radio. And then we have a deck of cards. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He has lasers in his hands. He loves radios from thrift stores. <laughs> Doesn't rhyme, does it? <laughs> All right, so let's go over features of this radio. Um, His left-hand side, they do a lot of these, like, brushed aluminum accent pieces are just glued on. Um, it's pretty cheesy, but it works. Um, just some basic plastics. It kind of reminds me of a GE radio, the way it looks. Uh, on the front here, we have the dial. Um, kind of nice dial, FM 88 to 108. Nice log scale in the middle. AM band, says 540 to 1600. I found out during the day it goes to 1640. I have not done an evening band scan. We'll do that together in this video. So hopefully it'll go a little higher, but it's interesting. Then we have a red LED that says fine tune indicator. It's nice to have. Uh, here, I'll set this down. Uh, behind here is a three and a half inch speaker, FM AM, uh, JC Pity again. Over here, you'll notice the switches look kind of wonky. <laughs> They're just cheaply made. There's like little caps on plastic switches. It's pretty funny, little metal caps. So we have an input, AC or DC, you have to switch. Um, there's a cord built in and it runs on 4C batteries, which I'll show you in a moment. Uh, and then, of course, on-off switch uh, tuning, which is really smooth. I like how smooth this tunes. Here we have an AFC uh, on and off for FM. And then we have uh, dis uh, DX or local, or they call it distance, on AM. <laughs> I had AFC off because I was doing an FM band scan today. And uh, I went to AM band and wasn't hearing anything. I'm like, what's wrong with this radio? <laughs> it was because I'm local. So I got to remember that. Here's our band select switch. <laughs> This thing's a monster. Like I said, I had to clean it. I opened the radio, and the most quality component is this switch right here. <laughs> it does look out of place compared to all, everything else. This is just one quality switch. Um, down here with tone control, which works really well. It gets really bassy and puts a lot of highs to it. So I like having that. Our volume control, uh, earphone jack, which I don't test on older radios, but uh, if it works, great. This side, same as the right side. Top of the radio, we got the handle which flips down, and it's made of aluminum. So it's not steel, it's aluminum. <laughs> Again, it's a little sign of cheapness. This antenna, though, is really nice. Uh, this antenna extends out to 23 inches, and when it's pulled all the way up, let's see if I can do it on camera here. It gets a little stuck at the end. Let's see if I can get that pulled up. There it is. Okay, there's a little elbow here. Allows this antenna to spin 360 degrees. Boy, was I able to pull on the FM stations by being able to do this. Um, definitely nice. Instead of having to move the radio all around, you just move that antenna. So let's get that pushed back down. So yeah, the antenna's nice and straight, which is a surprise. Always good to have a fully functioning original antenna. All right, let's flip around the back, and then we'll turn this thing on and see what it sounds like. Okay, so back of the radio, we have a bunch of warnings there. The burnt fire, don't open this up. <laughs> um, there's a 
little plaque. I'm just trying to get up close here. It's a big radio. Um, it says 8 watts uh, with 120 input. That's cool. Runs on 4C batteries. Made in Hong Kong. So that leads me to believe that might be a GE radio because a lot of GE radios from this era were uh, made in Hong Kong. So kind of have a feeling it might be a GE radio. Um, if I open this up, yeah, let's go ahead. I'll show you. <laughs> the batteries are going to pop up. Um, so we got our AC cord in there and then 4C batteries. Now when I put the cover back on, these will go back down. But without the cover, they want to pop up, as you can see. <laughs> so the trick now is to get this back on here while on camera without having them come loose. There we go. Okay, and the bottom has a serial number. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and turn this on. Well, actually, not the FM reception report. Let's do that first. So I like to run my radios through the FM band in one particular location, particular time of day, usually the afternoon, and tune the FM band. Now this antenna, like I showed you, spins 360. It was great. I sat there and spun the antenna around as I tuned this with the AFC off, uh, allowing me to find faint signals. It did a fantastic job. Um, I rate radios on a five-star basis, starting out at the lowest, which is fair, second okay, good, very good, and excellent, being five stars. Uh, typically, most analog radios like this from this time frame get about a 48 to 50 station found rating, which puts it around the okay to good category. Uh, this radio actually exceeded that by finding 65 stations, so it lands it right in a solid three-star good category. And selectivity was also very good, uh, or in the good category. Uh, so another three-star rating for that. Uh, the selectivity was amazing with the AFC off. I was able to find quite a few faint stations, also by just rotating the antenna around. Uh, it was an amazing experience. So for an inexpensive thrift store radio, I was very happy with the FM experience. I don't know if you guys will find a radio like this, but I'll put links below to eBay with JCPenney as a tagline. <laughs> Maybe there'll be some of these out there. Um, it's, it's a worthy pickup. It's cheap. So let's go ahead and turn it on. We'll run a little uh, Radio Totterbird. Our tuning indicator. We're using a... Let's see if I can bring it over here. Got a bunch of stuff laying on in here. Here is a FM transmitter 2. Transmitting at 92.9 .9 megahertz. Hooked up to an MP3 player. Transmitting royalty-free music to the radio. So you get an idea what it sounds like. I'll let this run for a few minutes.
a little taste of the audio. Yeah, you can compare it to my other radio reviews and you can kind of get an idea for the sound. Real throaty, sounds good. The tone, it kind of gets a little muddier, but this is really good on AM band. Uh, when you have a shrill station, you can actually you know, put the tone down to muddy it down a little bit so it's not so ear piercing. I do like having that. So let's go ahead and cruise the medium wave band tonight. Uh, we'll see what we can find. Let me go ahead and turn off the transmitter and turn off my MP3 player. Okay, so we'll switch it over to AM and we'll make sure we're on a distance. Okay, go ahead and go to the bottom of the band here. Love that tuning indicator, nice and bright. Love that on a radio. I think that's the best thing out there. What do you guys think? Loving it. All right, so we'll go ahead and turn this up. Very directional, I noticed uh, today during the day. Okay, yeah, you know, I'd hover on that music, but believe it or not, <laughs> it can be copyright protected. <laughs> so, yeah, I gotta blow a copyright infringement there. Uh, that's CHLO, I got my list right here. Uh, 530, Brampton, Ontario, 441 miles, 250 watts. Love that it's coming in clear. Um, right now, it is 1027 p.m. Central Standard Time near Chicago, Illinois. Um, and it gives you an idea we're going to use this as our frequency checker. I'll just uh, turn this on and get this ready. And then we'll go ahead and go through the band. And this thing has been great during the day, so I'm assuming it's going to be awesome at night. Here's 540 WAUK, Jackson, Wisconsin, 70 miles away, 400 watts, very directional. Now I took this radio apart, um, I also noticed it had a 3.5 inch ferrite antenna in there that seemed nicely wound. Again, it reminded me of a GE product. I look for a more stable station. This one sounds like 550. Republicans concerned after the Justice Department withdraws its... Here's 560 WIND Chicago. For President Trump's longtime confidant, Roger Stone, Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer is calling for an investigation. We are witnessing a crisis in the rule of law in America, unlike one we have ever seen before. Nice all analog experience here. Okay, so this is 620 WTMG, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can tell it's picking up quite a bit. It's just uh, we're having a snowstorm coming through, so I'm assuming it's affecting reception a little bit. 
There's always something flying with Adam. The Automobile Dealers Association of Metro Milwaukee. And next, it's the Sip and Saver Beer. Okay, country music on CFCO, Chatham, Ontario, 630. This is 310 miles, 6,000 watts. Hey, always cool to listen to. So a little hint of 640 there, WMFN, Piatone, Illinois, Hispanic music, 75 miles away, 1600 watts. on a way back Wednesday. You talk about steel guitar prowess. Let's get some on in a very different style. We just heard the haunting sound of John Huey. What about Bud Isaacs? Let's get this instrumental flavor on now with the steel guitar breakdown on a way back Wednesday on WS. Steel guitar. Cool. Uh, WSM, Nashville, Tennessee on 650, 434 miles away. This is WFAN 660, uh, New York, New York, 750 miles, home of the Yankees. Um, sometimes hard to get between Nashville and then 670, a local station here in Chicago. He's putting together the crib. You know, you talk about that. It's like there's bigger things to put your life in perspective, and so I think. Um, or oh, I'm getting 670 bleeding over. <laughs> I think so. Yep. Must be unhappy, otherwise they'd want to keep him. So I think they draw conclusions that really aren't there. So 670, the score is what it is. Man, <laughs> I thought I had 660 for sure. Uh, this year. You know, we can always check the sky wave here to see if I can find it with this. Yeah, not a chance. Okay. New rules for when the rosters expand. Any of this uh, jump out at you as being surprising? Um, no, none of it's really surprising. That's, you know, one of the things I had been kind of wondering about initially was, okay, how, you know, how do you define that they don't want with a 13 pitcher max? There's a... Um, you know, Alright, except that is at midnight. I'm Sean Gallagher, News Radio 700, WLW. 700, WLW, Cincinnati. Available everywhere with the iHeartRadio. There we go, got the call sign, call letters, uh, station ID, uh, 300 miles away. Radio station. The modern technology. Being a on the day. Sorry, was that too much? Uh, just a wee bit, but hey, I like your spunk. 720 WGN. 100% Colombian medium roast coffee only Chicago. at McDonald's. <laughs> See, definitely nulls it. See if I turn. It's a Bud Light. Crisp. Nulls it out really nice. It's happy hour. Let's go get some Bud Lights. <laughs> Let me see if this is a, a seven. Uh... In Moscow, hey, Louis, Missouri. has been divided into tenements by the, the second period. Still on 720. Here's Chris Bowden. Well, a game that you would think the Blackhawks would be leading. Instead, they are down by a score of one to nothing. Music here on CFZM 740, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. Let's see if we get the calls. Call letters here. Can't hover. Hi, 
hope that you like this evening's show. It's all about romance, country style. Tanya Tucker, would you lay with me five days in May with Blue Rodeo? Next, you got away. So my husband says, Eva, on Valentine's Day, buy yourself something nice. There you go. Ziggy with Stardust. Three, one, two, four. This might be 760. New York businessman Donald Trump, who is a naked capitalist and a rogue to them, and okay. they don't know what to do. Savage Nation here on WJR 760, Detroit, Michigan, 270 miles. Yeah, WSB, a little challenge to get in, 750. Schiff and the other characters uh, who still try to destroy him because they do want. Here it is, WSB Atlanta, Georgia, 630 miles. Verify. And people send postcards from there. Okay, let's just keep going. <laughs> it's like I get lucky if I get it. Did he ever? Milton has three cows. Describe your vintage stuff to us on the next Consignment Heroes Sunday at eleven on Zoomer Radio. We want your stuff. Seven forty. Pay more is their motto. All right. So, again, zero. Tomorrow night, bitterly cold. The lake effect snow ending early in northwest Indiana. Then there will be clearing. 780 WBBM Chicago. Western suburbs, though, as low as 10 below, and real fields will be between 10 and 15 below. Friday, burst. It is important to note that $4 billion in liability over the course of 50 years for 330 million Americans is actually not a large amount of money, nor is it an admission that the vaccines are actually what is causing the, the, back, the, the sort of bad things to happen. 810 uh, WGY, Albany, New York, 740 miles. That absolutely do carry. Guillaume Barr syndrome, for example. Where does, where does he get his dribble drives? Is it just, you know, pump and goes? All, all this a little bit of a like challenge that? tonight. Uh, like I said, it's probably the weather. Uh, WCCO, uh, 830, Minneapolis, Minnesota, 310 miles. Coming in good. Cat are doing together. That, that's, I would say, as much as anybody else in this roster, we got to make sure that all three of those guys mesh together. Right now, D'Angelo Russell, Carl Towns, who's the who's the third best If the United States were attacked by someone from outer space, would you help us? And Rob Chuck said, no doubt about it. I would help. Now, these documents... Here's 840 WHAS, Louisville, Kentucky. I think this is ground zero. About 300 miles away. And in the fine print was also the idea of an alien invasion. Now, keep in mind, it was Ronald Reagan who proposed a space fence to be activated for his SDI. Eight sixty CGBC. I heard heard her say Dark Crystal Age of Resistance. I watched that. It's like the Muppets and stuff. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. <laughs> uh, Toronto, Ontario, four hundred and sixty miles. I'm starting to notice like I feel that way in myself. So I went to a a Ray Shrimmer concert. I don't know if you're all familiar with them, but I went to a Here's a WWL eight seventy New Orleans, Louisiana, eight hundred and sixty five miles. I didn't quickly 
Spot Hero will show you the closest spots to your destination and let you sort by price and reserve. WCBS, New York, New York on 880. 750 miles. Off your first part with promo code 880. That's promo code 880. Spot Hero, park smarter. Bob Dylan's legendary songs reimagined by master storyteller Extra on your premium. I'm going to cruise up the band a little quicker. of Americans will go to work and our children will go to school. Some will 1000 WMVP Chicago will simply come home. America will move tomorrow because of the Quicken Loans, the highest in the nation in customer satisfaction for primary... Zacznij Pan podróż po Lamerze. 11 biur Chicago i okolica. 776. Stories. Your story is important to us. And our listeners. To share your story... That uh, Polish station was 1030. Uh, they were still powered up. WHO Start this year with 1040 Oh my god that is amazing Des Moines, Iowa 280 miles yeah, baby. After winter I'm ecstatic and rain will continue to fall over the morning commute. For Thursday, unseasonably warm conditions. Daytime high of 62 degrees. Feeling like spring right in the middle of winter. But don't worry, winter returns quickly. On Friday with a daytime high on Valentine's Day of just 32 degrees. And with wind chills closer to KYW, 20 KYW, Philadelphia, degrees. Pennsylvania. Want to bundle up 700 miles. With your sweetheart. We'll dry out going into the weekend. I'm NBC Denver's alert meteorologist Brittany Shipp with your most accurate forecast. Right now, we've got a mixture of, of light rain fog and mist 38 degrees at the Radio.com World Headquarters in Center City. When you need to know, we've got you covered. Depend on KYW News Radio. I had to get the call letters. <laughs> we'll just speed through the rest here. That matter just from that standpoint. And two, uh, even on the top end, I mean, a team like... Don Silver, this year. Pricing of this rich main Regularly, you should. People often get their first impression of... ...works, which God has before our day. Who's number two, then? Who, who, who? But it's get behind some rocks. It's only 25, 30, 35 meters old. <laughs> And you know how they sent out these things about, you know, who's for who? I'm doing that, uh, uh, gosh, I can't think of the name of that movie. That I would concur with you. It, it strikes me as uh, extremely uh, reasonable, quite frank. Sixteen ten, CHHA, Toronto. 1620 Hazardous Road. 1630. 1650. So 1660s were tops up. Cool. Go ahead and turn us off. Do final thoughts. So, thrift store radio, is it worth it? Uh, JC Penny, you know what? Yeah, it is. Uh, it's real sensitive. It's just a tough night tonight. Uh, I know this radio is good. Uh, during the day, it was rocking. Um, doing a great job with the local, semi locals, no problems at all. Coming in really nice. Uh, tuning indicator, really helping. Um, it really is really reactive. I like that. 
Um, so yeah, if you found something like this at the thrift store, give it a shot. It's probably a GE radio. Well, my guess is speaker grill really reminds me of a GE radio. So uh, definitely a worthy pickup if you found this, say, under 15 bucks, maybe 20 at the most. But since there's so many radios out there and this might need work in the future, I would say like 15 or less, definitely. Um, give it a like if you guys like this video too. If you like thrift store radios, uh, try to pick up more. Hit subscribe at the bell icon. We'll see what we can find out there. And three, comment below what you think about the JCPenney FM AM portable radio. Does it remind you of a GE? Do you like the performance? Do you think it's worth worthwhile? Um, remember, it does run on AC and DC. Not a bad setup. All right, guys. I appreciate you watching. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video.